Back to uni, food hall, slash meals I'm going to cook next week for my first week of uni. <laughs> excuse my parents and excuse the sound of the air fryer. I don't know if you can hear that. I thought I'd show you what I bought or, I don't know, maybe some meal inspirations for some of you. Because I've got a few things in mind that I'm going to cook now. Um, and I go home in two days, I go home. Tomorrow's my last day at home. Tomorrow's Friday and I go home on Saturday. So I'm going to do a little food haul. Okay, I've brought you further away from the sound of the air fryer. I'll start with breakfast and I'm going to share with you what I have for breakfast most days, um, which is cherry yogurt. Any cherry yogurt, this is just the one I chose, but literally any cherry yogurt. I normally get the one from Aldi. I went to Tesco to stay with my mum. Um, the one from Aldi's like, I think it's less than a pound, I think it might be like 95p. This one's a bit more expensive because it's from Tesco's, but any cherry yogurt. And on top, any granola. This is my favourite, but again, it is expensive for uni, um, but there's also a Tesco's version of this, which is just as good. So, that on top. For lunches, I don't have any because I'm gonna buy them when I'm actually in uni so they don't go mouldy, but I have wraps with, it's controversial, tuna. I love tuna mayo, I love it. Oh, and then, for a bit of healthiness, I've decided to expand. So for the top of the yoghurt, I got myself some chia seeds. I don't know if you're supposed to put chia seeds on top of yoghurt, but if not, I'm gonna make chia pudding. With the tuna wraps, I've got sweet corn. Hello. <laughs> to put in it. Um, because tuna sweet corn's good, I used to like it as a kid, so add a bit of veggies in there. So that's for lunches. I don't know what else, I need to experiment with lunches. I've got lots of pasta. I bought this pasta, which looks good. This is probably going to be one of my lunch, one of my dinners. Oh yeah, for one of my teas, I'm going to make curry, veggie curry. So I got this butter chicken sauce. I know that defeats the point, but I'm going to put vegetables in it instead of chicken. Then I got some a two pack of rice to go with it as well. I'm going to make some tomato sauce. I'm going to learn how to make. It cut me off, but I'm going to learn how to make a tomato sauce to go with pasta, so I can have tomato sauce and pasta. Tomato soup is another one of my faves. I've got lots of seasonings actually. My friend Will's gonna be really happy to hear that I've bought seasoning because the only seasoning I have in my house is salt and pepper, which is literally the whitest thing ever. It's just Italian seasoning. And then I got, what else did I get? I got garlic granules and smoked paprika. But yeah, um, welcome to the video by the way. <laughs> Today I'm gonna be, I don't know, just filming my last day at home before I go back, all the prep, I'm gonna do, this is part of it, the food shop is a big part of it. Um, and I'm gonna go for a nice walk tomorrow, I think, before I go back to the city. Tonight, I'm gonna finish packing my clothes and stuff, so you can also join me along with that. <laughs> this is such a weird angle, but I'm gonna start packing, well, I've started packing um, all my clothes. I bought like my whole wardrobe back with me, which now I'm regretting, because I actually didn't wear half of it. Anyway, so I'm gonna pack up. Not gonna lie, um, I've packed my bags, my room's clean, there's nothing else really for me to do tonight, so I'm gonna film more tomorrow. Also, who likes my sleep mask? Ready. Um, I've decided to go on one last walk before I go back to uni tomorrow. I know I literally go on a walk in every video, but I'm gonna make this one quite a long one. This is the outfit. It's very boring. I've got limited stuff because everything's packed. I might put on my new fleece underneath this because I think it might be a bit cold. Yeah, then after the walk, I'm gonna go meet my friend Meg for some coffee. Um, maybe Will, if Will comes. Um, and yeah.
just going to show you the view in front of me right now. <laughs> favourite place ever. So, I'm back at my favourite place. Um, last time I filmed here, I think I was sat that side. But I found this little side and I think I like it better. Um, sometimes I do feel like I'm going to fall in, but it's not that deep as you can see. So I think I'll be fine. This is the kind of stuff I'll miss um, when I'm back at uni. Um, just being able to sit somewhere like this and just be like completely on my own. It's really nice. I'm very lucky to have this to come home to. But I am actually feeling quite positive about going home. Um, since I've been on my walk, I've been thinking like, what else am I going to be doing? <laughs> like, if I stayed home, this would just be my life. It would, it would get boring eventually. So I'm excited to go back to uni, start working again, start being productive, start going to the gym. Um, another re resolution, I keep talking about resolutions in all my videos. I'm going to have to stop at some point because it's not going to be January forever. But another res resolution I kind of want to achieve is to be more positive. Sometimes I find myself talking quite negatively about things and they really don't need to be. Like, there are positives to going back to uni. Obviously, part of me doesn't want to go back, which is obviously a normal feeling to have. Like, I want to express that, know myself that I can feel the way I'm feeling about going back to uni. Like, it's a normal feeling to be nervous and anxious about going back. Um, but also, I need to look on the positive side of things. So yeah, that's my little tech talk. I literally love it here. I'm gonna sit here for a bit longer. Just chill, put some music on. My phone is literally on 1%, but I'll just waste it on music while I sit here. I love it here so much. Next time I'm here, it'll probably be springtime. So this is gonna look so different. I'm really excited. I love this place in spring and summer. It's so nice. That's all for now. I'm just gonna sit here for a bit. So I'm back from my walk. My friend Meg is about to pick me up and we are going to get ingredients to make some cookies, which will be a nice little evening activity. Both cats are in my room right now. Hi, Mike. Hey, Mog. <laughs> we're going to get some ingredients for cakes. What are we actually making? making? Cookies. Biscuits. Biscuits. Oh. Cookies. cookies. Which kind of what kind of cookies? <gasps> and put Smarties in them. Oh, uh, and mini egges. And we did mini eggs last time. Oh my god, oh. throw back. Bacon with Megan Caris back. <laughs> Story time. It's been about an hour, but we've got all our got all our stuff. Basically, um, Tesco's was broken. My card was broken. They wouldn't accept contactless, contactless payment. So we had to go all the way back to my house, get my card, and then my card wouldn't work, and then the cash machine wouldn't work. And then anyway. you couldn't get cash back either. Then I couldn't get cash back. So we had to get Meg's brother, who works in Tesco's, to pay for us. So. Woo! <laughs> Just a little bit of a silly one. There we go. Oh my god, they look good. Finished. It's a finished product. Cheers. Straw. <laughs> Your turn's nice. Mm -hmm. I'd give it a 7 out of 10. Okay, hi guys. So it's a few hours later. Just finished packing up everything. Meg's gone home. Um, I think that's where I'm going to end today's video. I'm all packed up, ready to go home. Um, I've had a really, really nice day today. It's been a really nice last day at home. Just kind of chilling, seeing Meg, um, seeing my family. And yeah, back to the uni life. So I hope you've all enjoyed today's video. Um, hope you're all having a great day or night, whatever time it is, where you are, and I will see you. With